just want to talk about my experience of being trolled or talking about the trolls um, because it seems to be a reoccurring theme and I know somebody asked me about this on my head the other day it's actually a mosquito bite the mosquitoes here are way bigger than they are in the Philippines um, but I was out walking and it just got me right in the head but anyway one of the things that come up today because uh, I noticed on Dave's channel and I'll add a link above me to the chat today is they've been experiencing some people to well specific people um, approaching people behind their back trying to create some um, issues and I've had the same I've had the same on my channel this week and I've also had some people approached on Facebook um, now what was funny about this today was the guy that's been trolling me most recently, his name's uh, Jeff Lee Brown. Um, he's a very unusual character. History of Scientology, vegan. Um, not that all vegans are a bit strange, but uh, the ones I've met have been quite aggressive. I see, I see a few of them in the old social housing scene. Um, but the... The thing with his trolling is it's generally just nonsense um, in the sense that he doesn't like other people's opinions. Or in my case, I had, this is why it's nonsense, is I simply removed him from my Facebook. Um, I, he was doing some very strange posting. I wasn't happy with that stuff going on my timeline with uh, normal people um, that associate with me. So I removed him and it took him two weeks to even notice he'd been removed but then he started ranting on and um eventually he had started making videos he made videos about me it's just like what you got removed from facebook because of things you were saying he was he was saying how the, the holocaust wasn't real and all this sort of stuff the deval bombing uh wasn't real the, the stuff where you're going i don't even know what why would you even talk about this stuff? Because um, logically, it didn't make any sense. In all honesty, it just didn't make any sense. Um, what do I mean? He has, he assumed that the the Paris bombing, the Deval bombings, they were putting dummies there. It wasn't real people. Now, I'm not being funny. If you're going to go to the extent of explosives and stuff, I don't think they really care that much about people to assume that you would actually put some mannequins in there it just but then again aliens i don't believe aliens is coming it, it, with the old scientology stuff either so that's why it's a bit bizarre but this is where he starts posting people's private conversations in facebook you know with their private chats i mean i'm not fussed because you know at the end of the day if i've said it i've said it that's it but he then manipulates some of this stuff He'll cut out bits he wasn't happy with and things like this. Um, but the whole point is, why even bother? But the, the why it's funny today is I found that Jeff's actually got more than one Facebook account. This is the guy that goes, we're exposing people. Um, yeah, actually keeps a second account for his own private information. In his latest video... Oops, you'll see where he's actually opened his Gmail account. At the bottom, you'll see there's another fake account that he's added himself because it's, it's under the name John. Just these little things. You know, and this is the guy that's exposing me. No, you, you're trolling. You go around trolling people. And the funny thing is, like I said, with having this second account, is you don't like people looking at your private life, yet you're, you're sitting there trying to ex put out other people's private information and for what i don't get it and the, the the latest thing is because they're being ignored they're going around and talking behind people's backs trying to engage with people oh this guy's a bit dubious this guy's a bit it's pathetic it really is pathetic it's it's so childish um and the funny thing is how aggressive because it's not just Jeff. He's got a little French friend, uh, a guy called Ivan Iliadis, that's been so bitter and twisted since he left the Philippines. 
Um, allegedly says he's retired. No, sorry, he has said he's retired, but we know he's still working and things like that. He's, I don't even know why these people do it. Um, but the reality is, it's not important. It's not important. These guys make a life out of stuff that has total irrelevance on anything positive. They'll sit and talk behind the back. Oh, oh, Matt's dubious. Do you know what? I have got no dubious past whatsoever. But the thing is, I question what, what your intentions are, what your problem is, because you two sit there hiding your lives and create this fabricated version of what you believe is reality. Guess what? I'm, I've got stuff on me on the Philippines going back to 2007 onwards. There's people that have moved to the Philippines because I'd moved there. There's people that moved to Spain because I'd moved there. These are real people, and these are real people that know me, met me, spend time with me, are friends with me, and some are even godparents to my children. Yet you two um, seem to spend all your time obsessing about people like myself, like Dave on his channel, uh, and going um, going around talking utter nonsense um, because if it, it feels like you guys struggle with dealing with reality, engaging with real people, and simply cannot get on in the world. Right? It's not my fault you guys haven't actually got a career or doing the stuff you want to be doing. That's nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with Dave. It's nothing to do with the other guys. You sit there and go, their channels are crap. They're doing this. There must be something illegal or something going on. Because otherwise, why are they successful and not you? Because the difference is they are doing something positive. You sit there whining and complaining and there must be something going on. Um, and it's not just recently. Ivan Iliadis. There's stuff going back to 2005. Um, with Jeff, there's stuff relating to his Scientology going back years. If you Jeff that says, I was only in Scientology for two, two years doing a business course, I think you need to read your own blog, the, the blog with all your information in there, because your courses start at 2001 and finish at 2010. Unless you can't do any calculations and adding up, which is, of course you might have been worth doing, stop the crap. All right? If you're not happy with your life, change it. Do something positive about it. Sitting there whining and bugging everybody else, it's just annoying. Um, but hey ho, this is the thing. The reality here is I am in Spain. I'm doing the stuff I want to do, uh, developing businesses here. Like anywhere else, it takes time. It, it's stuff I'm working on. But you know what? I put the information online. People can see what I'm doing. You guys have got multiple accounts for multiple things because you don't really want to show your real life. I leave it at that.